Ugandan power distributor Umeme has reported a 39% rise in full-year pre-tax profit to 61 billion shillings. The firm, which completed an initial public offering in November, noted that it would cut the proportion of energy lost in distribution to less than a quarter. Joining us on the line for a breakdown of the numbers is Charles Chapman, who is Managing Director at Umeme. Good afternoon to you, Charles. A 39% rise in pre-tax profit. That sounds healthy by any measures. What's behind it? Um, thanks very much, uh, and, and thanks again to all our investors uh, who invest in the IPO. What's driving the growth is obviously the growth in investment required in the sector, uh, um, and uh, our, um, the good news is that our asset base has increased to $179 million, and we get paid on the investments we make in the sector. So profit before tax is up by a healthy 37, I think, or 39 percent, but profit after tax is actually up by 148 percent. The good news uh, for those who invest in the IPO is that, you know, uh, we're 139 percent over the figures that we predicted. So on profit after tax, a very healthy uh, improvement versus what we said. However, um, there is an exceptional in there in terms of uh, tax, but the underlying trend is very, very healthy. Uh, for EBITDA, um, we outperformed what we said we were going to do in the prospectus, and for revenue and gross profit as well. So customer numbers are up uh, by 12%. Sales growth is up due to the new Bujigali Dam. Uh, tariff uh, in increased during the period by 52% and our revenue collections stayed high at, at 94 percent and our energy losses as you indicated uh, are 26 percent. Uh, the good news also for our investors is that we have agreed uh, seven year, seven year uh, targets with the regulator. Uh, we're going into 2013 with an asset base of 127 million dollars and that is a significant in increase by about 26 million and that allows potential investors uh, to predict uh, the level of returns we'll be making for 2013. Charles, let's come back to that, uh, that point that you do make, and you put it at the top, along with your, your profit, about cutting the proportion of energy lost in distribution to less than a quarter. Clearly, this is a big problem. Uh, how bad is it at the moment, and how are you going to uh, get about that improvement? Well, it's a problem and an opportunity. The whole basis of this concession, when we restructured uh, our, our loss reduction program in 2009, we've reduced losses from 38% uh, in, in that period to 26% last year. And we're very confident that our structure with our, using our district teams is very, very successful. And that allows us to be quite aggressive about our predictions going forward. We've agreed targets to get to the same level as Kenya, which has the same technical system as ours, in about six years' time. So we will reduce losses by about 15 to 2% on average every year. Our strategy is actually to get ahead of the curve and to focus on the commercial losses first. So on those parameters, on our collections and on our running costs, we've been doing quite well historically. And the, the added advantage for investors is the significant growth that's been brought about by the Bujigali project, uh, which was launched during the summer, combined with um, our investments, which generate an interest, uh, generate an income of 20% on, on the return, and it's all in dollars as well, which is quite comforting for, for uh, overseas investors.